In the grand scheme of things, everything began in ordinary fashion. Sarah and Tim, ordinary beings yearning for affection, were paired together in the popular reality TV series, Married at First Sight. Both were hopeful, eager to find their soulmate. Their personalities appeared to be compatible, a perfect harmony that promised a beautiful journey of love. Viewers were enamored by their on-screen chemistry, rooting for their social media was flooded with messages of support and wishes. The makers had hit the jackpot, a love story that was seemingly perfect. But as the saying goes, all that glitters is not gold. As the show progressed, a shocking revelation surfaced. During a couple's retreat in the idyllic Byron Bay, it came to light that Sarah had dinner with her ex-boyfriend. This revelation sent shockwaves through the MAFS community, casting a dark shadow over Sarah and Tim's relationship. The aftermath was brutal, to say the least. Sarah faced a monumental public backlash, a maelstrom of criticism that forced her to confront aspects of her behavior she wasn't proud of. She described the experience as really rough. The strain was so severe that Sarah even considered leaving the experiment feeling that she and Tim wouldn't be able to work on their relationship amidst the scandal. Yet, as the dust settled, there was a surprising twist. In November, during her 30th birthday party in Sydney, Sarah invited a few of her MAFS castmates, including Tim. The pair were seen cuddling, smiling and looking loved up, a stark contrast to their televised turmoil. Tim even gave a speech reflecting on his relationship with Sarah, giving fans a glimmer of hope for the couple. However, recent events suggest that this hope might have been fleeting. Sarah has been seen on the dating app Hinge, indicating that she might be ready to move on. She's looking for someone who can take the bad, a nod perhaps to the tumultuous journey she's been on. In conclusion, the story of Sarah and Tim is a cautionary tale. It's a tale of love, scandal, and the hope of reconciliation. But it's also a tale of personal growth, of confronting one's flaws and learning from them. As Sarah herself said, it's like putting up a mirror to a lot of the things that I need to work on myself and in relationships. This saga is a reminder that reality TV might be a spectacle, but the emotions and experiences are very real indeed.